hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at a very common problem which people face which is how do you customize the registration form of Jetstream if you are using it in your Laravel application the thing is Jetstream by default gives you these three fields primarily which is name email and password but based on our application we may want to customize and rather add a new field to it for example maybe a username or a phone number so how do you do that so in this video we will look at that so let me go to my terminal and create a new project first composer create project i'll name it jetstream registration reg and while it is downloading i'll show you one other way which is already documented that if you want to customize the registration view you have the option to change the view itself okay but as i told you right now my requirement is not to entirely change the view but just add one more field to it and that's why i think it's a better option to see how we can modify the existing thing which is already there okay so the installation is done i have the code open in my visual studio code and the first thing which we would like to do is let's just say I will use an SQLite database. Okay. You are free to use MySQL, but I'm just doing this for the purpose of demonstration. And because I'm going to use an SQLite database, I need the name of the database, which is this. It goes inside my database folder. So a new file called SQLite. All right. Now to work with Jetstream, obviously the first thing which I'll have to do is go over here and do composer require and while this is happening let's just say we are going to use the live wire version so i'll copy that as well install and then the last thing is obviously and these three commands so npm install and and npm run dev and and php artisan migrate okay now obviously one thing is we already have the user database, uh, sorry, migration, user table migration. So you can see in here we have name, email, you know, password and stuff, but we don't have an additional field. And let's just say we have an additional field over here, which is username. Correct. So we need to basically handle this in our UI, right? And in the registration process. So first of all, let's hit this. It will do its thing there is some compilation required and then it will populate the database okay so my mix command has been executed and i have the compiled file and i have the database migration ready as well so which means now if i go over to my browser and run localhost 8000 go to the registration screen and i can see this so the first change which we will do is go into the resources views auth and the register blade you should understand that jetstream gives you all the templates and resources which are required for you to work with okay so in here let's say after my email i add one more field i'll copy this one and paste it here value is i don't have a language thing so for now let's just say it is username input type is okay this will be username id is going to be username type is text name is going to be username the old value required autofocus is off autocomplete okay or maybe i'll not do an autocomplete over here this is done so now if i refresh i have screwed up the layout let's see what happened right i don't have the opening tag maybe that was the reason yes so i have this field for some reason there's no gap over here right this is the reason so let me add that class yeah so this is our form 
Now, obviously, this will not get captured in our registration because we haven't written anything to it. I'll just show you Amitav Roy. Hit register. Username. Right. It doesn't get it, right? Because it doesn't know that I'm sending the username from the field. So how do you handle that? Close all files, go to app, and you'll see a folder called actions. With Jetstream, most of the I would say functionalities which are present, right? They have a way for you to modify because they are inside your app folder, right? So that is being encouraged. You are encouraged to modify these files because this is part of your code base. So in Jetstream, I have delete user, fortify, I have create new user. So let's see what is there. So we have a create password validation rules. We don't want to change that, but you can see I have validator make. It is taking the input. So fine, this is something where I can you know make some modifications why don't we do this username it's required it's a string okay i'll also do unique on users so that you know we don't have a duplicate over there right and then in here i'll send the input username and now let's just refresh the page try once more password is password hit register hmm this is strange because insert into users it's still not taking the request why T -t -t username is here validated and in the view sorry this is not the view register blade username name is username let's see can i do a die dump over here and see what's the input it should have actually come right hmm ah i know what's the problem See, it's not allowing you to insert because inside the user.php model, we don't have username as a fillable property and that's why it is failing. So now it should work. I should fill the form again, just so that you know, you know the entire flow. Keep it Amitav Roy, username Amitav Roy. Right, and hit the register button and we are in. So yes. If you want to confirm, let's just do Tinker. Okay, by the way, the shortcut Tinker is basically PHP Artisan Tinker. That's why I can directly type it on my shell. If you see which Tinker will do PHP Artisan Tinker. Okay, so few less lines to type in. User find one and I have the username over here. It will not get displayed anywhere else because you know, these views are not handling that. You have to do that manually. But as you can see, the registration form was customized and we were able to add a new field, which is now going into the user table as part of registration. So yes, this is one way I feel you can easily you know, modify some of the features which are there, which you already get with Jetstream. And I really feel because the app folder has the code there is no problem in modifying it yes if you want to do a complete overhaul of your view then there is you know the recommended way which is if you go over here not inside registration right inside registration you can go and tell laravel which view to look for when you are when the user is registering or when the user is logging in but yes if you have just one field and you are not really very picky about the ui and you are good to go with the you know off the shelf registration form then yes you can just make this modification and you are done so yeah that's about it that's how you can customize the registration on jetstream inside laravel if you have any 
such queries do mention it in the comments and yes if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel